my last night in the UK. I don't know if it's because the weather hasn't been very nice, but it genuinely didn't feel like summer happened. Like it did, but it doesn't feel like it was a summer in entirety. It was just lots of days. I'm getting to the point in my life where I'm lucky enough to say I studied abroad before. For the first time ever, I'm returning to a city that I've been to before. I'm gonna live in Berlin next term. But it's also the place in the world that I have felt the most connected to and fallen in love with the quickest. Very excited to be going back there. I just feel good. Like I, I don't feel stressed. I'm confused at myself. I'm like, Where's the bubbling Jade you are starting university and Jade you are moving abroad feeling? Like, where is that? I think it just hasn't hit me yet because it doesn't feel like summer has passed. I'm also spending some time in Berlin before my semester starts to help me find an apartment. Oh my God, Berlin's housing market is crazy. And to chill and to settle in and to finish my summer work. So I technically started packing a few days ago. As in, I got out the suitcase and whenever I felt like it, I would randomly add a few things. <laughs> just, I just sort of chuck it in there. But I've really been procrastinating properly packing so much so that today i spent pretty much the whole day my last day in the uk watching netflix with my brother <laughs> i'm in the situation that i always end up in which is late at night the day before i'm going shoving things in a suitcase while i'm tired haphazardly knowing i'm probably going to forget something important i can't believe a new journey is starting ah! Last year, my term in Berlin utterly changed my life, changed my friendships, changed some of my self-expression, changed how I feel about where I want to live in the future, like changed so many things, even though two months of it was spent in lockdown, like it was a restricted life there and it still was so impactful. So what is it gonna bring this time? I don't know, it's so exciting. Being very honest too, I also feel so conflicted in what to vlog and what not to vlog. I used to share my life a lot more freely than I think I do now. For example, I haven't vlogged actively this summer like I might have done in the past. I don't know, something about the pressure of having more people here, more eyes watching, and also this balance between wanting to just live my life. Like social life and uni is my priority. Also there's a fly in my room, I don't know if you can hear it. It's buzzing around, causing havoc. Yeah, I don't know how much of my life you'll see, but I definitely want to vlog. I want to share my love for this city. I'm so excited to get back into studying. If you don't know what I'm doing, I do a liberal arts degree, so you kind of carve what becomes your major as you go. But it looks like my major is gonna be a double major in cognitive neuroscience, because I am fascinated by the brain and I love the biology of it. So yeah, I'm taking more courses in that, which is great. And then I think I'm also gonna get a double major in business, specifically in branding. Even for example with YouTube, it really helps me the business side of things. There's so much that oh, you don't think about when you do YouTube behind the scenes. Even for example, like thinking about growth or outsourcing or ecosystem of social media, like all these things through a business lens are really interesting and I've loved the courses I've done so far. So we'll see how it goes. I'm doing another business course next semester. At some point I wanna do an elective in philosophy. I'm both very excited to get back into the learning because I am an education nerd at heart. Also terrified because Minerva is not an easy place to be. Social wise, it is my favorite place in the world. The people are chef's kiss everything, but the academics are rough as hell. I do not want to be writing minimum an essay a week, making an assignment a week again, having to do a mini internship in the city, grinding, grinding, doing these classes, reading, la 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 la. I've done it before, I know how it's gonna be, I know it's gonna be stressful, but I will be empowered. I've done it before, we can do it again. Jade, you wrote a flipping book last semester. I can do, can do this one <laughs> without writing a book too, I will be fine. Also random, but I think I've, developed uh, perfectionism around YouTube. Sometimes there's so much friction to me picking up a camera and just talking because I'm overthinking it. I think again, it comes back to knowing how many people watch this now. But yeah, I just wanna say thanks for being here. You're wonderful. Let's go to Berlin. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. I think it's really scary going away or studying abroad when your dog's going to be head up. I just don't want that old, but I never used to think about it when I went away. 
Just appreciating what you have now, you know. Now what's weird is that every time I've been lucky enough to study abroad, I've entered the city and it feels so foreign. I'm overwhelmed by new sights, new systems, signs and new languages, and all of it brings up these overwhelming feelings of nervous excitement. It's like this feeling of, wow, this doesn't feel anything like home, but somehow I'm going to find a sense of home here. But this time, it was all familiar. The silhouette of the TV tower against the sky, the graffiti colouring every wall, the people enjoying beer by the river Spree, or sitting outside Spätis. And because I learned German over the summer, I was suddenly looking at signs like they were also written for me. The next two weeks in Berlin were amazing. It was rediscovering my old favourite vegan cafes and restaurants and reminiscing old memories. I went to the planetarium. I got to enjoy a non-lockdown Berlin. Spoiler, Berlin is the capital of veganism and it is incredible. I also saw old friends from another who were in Berlin early. I climbed to a hill with an amazing view of Berlin and I had a vegan picnic in the sun. And I interspersed all of the summer excitement with uni prep. I had a lot of summer work to do which wasn't yet finished and so it was nice in these two weeks to kind of prepare myself. I had behind the scenes YouTube work and a really exciting project which I've been working on for almost a year. Two of my team who I work with even flew to Berlin for a few days to work on the project with me which was so special because I felt like a tour guide. And since publishing the book it's just been this crazy whirlwind of interviews and being on podcasts and publicity and media. I just did a podcast recording for Modern Wisdom. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's an amazing podcast and it feels like such an honour to be featured on it. We talked about the science of learning, human memory, revision technique, the academic system. Guys, it's so scary going on podcasts. Like, even though he's lovely, I'm like, oh my god, what am I saying half the time? But it's fine. We're fine. We're professional. Professional. Um, <laughs> so look at this really cool podcast suite. When I first came in here, I was like, oh my god, how on earth am I gonna set this up? Like, I don't know how to use any of this equipment. Fancy thing here, I couldn't get the Mac to work. Like, it was just, it was a stress. <sighs> the imposter syndrome never truly leaves. I made notes for uni, I went over some of last year's content and I kind of just got my shit together. <laughs> One of my biggest stresses in the last few weeks was figuring out my apartment situation. This semester I've chosen to live in independent housing nearby my uni's residence halls because I've realised it's near impossible to make YouTube videos and regulate all the different aspects of my life while having two roommates. I love the experience but it leaves me very stressed at the end. So just once, just for one semester, I wanted to try what it would be like to have some more independence and balance. And I looked on apartment websites almost every day of summer and applied to at least 50. And so while I was here, I've been going for apartment interviews and I got lucky. I got it. I moved into my own apartment. That was so crazy. I swear, I can't even count the number of applications I've sent out for apartments over the last summer. This is just the best news. It's a 10 minute bike ride away from where all my friends live. It's gonna give me so much more freedom to create content and have my own space. I'm gonna live an independent life in Berlin. That's so exciting. I can't move in until the 15th, but when I do, 
get ready for our new home. One especially good day was when a bunch of my uni friends had a temporary Airbnb before the term started. They invited me over for a dinner party and it was just so surreal because last year the city was in lockdown and the concept of gathering inside over food was foreign. I am blessed with friends who are chefs and one of my friends even made a vegan Wellington. Yummy. We caught up about summer, we talked about the new term, we reminisced Berlin. And just yesterday, all my other friends started arriving. So I have officially finished my summer work. Yay, go on Jade. And all of my friends have now moved into Berlin, which is so exciting. Tomorrow I start my first class and in a week and a half, I'm moving into my apartment. Life is starting. <laughs> oh, also I'm so glad that I learned German over the summer. I still suck. Like my German has gone way downhill. I need to go over vocabulary. <laughs> I am slacking, but it is so refreshing that I can understand most of the signs in Berlin. The elections are happening really soon in Germany and there are loads of candidate posters everywhere. And it's really cool being able to understand most of them and being able to chat to people in shops. Just feeling a little bit more local. Really cool. Okay, good night, bye.